reaction right now. <laughs> well, we're talking about the Beach to Beacon. And, 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 and not an allergic reaction to the event itself. No, 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 no. The to idea the, of this, yeah, yeah, concept of running. running. Right. I was so lucky that I that I covered it for the first 22 years. Yeah. I, I couldn't run. Right. I mean, you, I obviously you wouldn't. wanted to. I mean, you trained. First of for all, it. I didn't want to show off and win, which obviously would have happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, but I had to work. So yeah, I could. I just couldn't do it. Well, yeah. this year you don't have to work it, so oh, no, you could run I it this have, year. No, but I have a thing. Uh, that yeah, thing. Yeah. A, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that thing that comes up whenever you don't want to do. On the first Saturday, the on the first Saturday of August every year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, last 24 hours have been very wet in sections of the state, specifically down East Maine. Uh, Perry, Eastport, Lebec, all around two inches of rain. Acadia got a solid soaking. Same with Ellsworth, one and a quarter inches. Not as much rain in Bangor, but it's been very wet there too, with about two tenths of an inch of rain, with more falling at this time. Over southern Maine, we had showers last night. There aren't many out there at the moment, but there may still be some sprinkles from time to time. And then as we head north and east, we're in the Bangor area right now. Here is the city, the Queen City, and showers are progressing south. And we'll be seeing some wet weather here for another 45 minutes or so. There's the low in the Bay of Fundy. Not moving, not planning to either for a few more days. But it will gradually weaken, so it's not like we're getting steady heavy rain any longer. It's more just these scattered showers every time a little spoke energy rotates through. We're really not that far away from sweet weather back here in the Great Lakes. We'll get to it eventually, but it's still about four days off. This morning, mainly cloudy and wet from last night's rain and this morning's sprinkles or showers, and it's a little chilly out too, near 50. Midday, cloudy skies, a few showers pop up, temps remain in the 50s. And no change this afternoon remains gray, remains gloomy. There'll be a little breeze out of the north as well, keeping things feeling cool. There's not enough rain to cancel any games, practices or any plans that you may have outside, but keep an umbrella close by. Bring it with you wherever you're going, just in case. Just drop it in the car. There are your temps today. We'll hit the low 60s in southern Maine. Your county will be the warmest today at about 63 or 4. Portland 62, Lewis and Augusta around 60. Cooler to the east for Bangor, Callis, and Bar Harbor, and also up north, especially up there. Caribou just 52 today. There's the upper level trough and area of low pressure slowly creeping out of here. Saturday gets better, but there's still a threat for showers. Sunday will definitely better. Brighter sunshine, warmer temps, and it looks like we get two days in a row of that. That will hold for Monday before the next area of rain moves in on Tuesday, probably Tuesday afternoon could be on the heavy side as well. Some good news about next week, even though there will be showers in the forecast at times, we'll have near normal temperatures or even slightly above it looks like. And for that, that means in mid June, that's like 70 ish, maybe a little higher most of the time. Marine forecast sees two to three feet northwest wind, five to 15 knots. Cloudy scattered showers, 60. More of the same tomorrow and Friday with some pop up showers. Saturday, still the chance for a shower, but most of the time it won't be raining and it won't be raining on Sunday or Monday. And look at those temperatures inland around 75 for the coastline around 70. And then Tuesday we'll have to keep an eye on the radar again. We'll see if that rain gets to us. We're in that kind of a pattern where it typically does, so you can almost count on it. <laughs> Boy, July and August are going to be great. They're going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs>